Hello guys, today we're going to talk about st stopped propagation. So for this example, we go, I have this code sandbox with me and I have a simple div that you can see over here, it's red color. So I just gave it these styles and uh, I gave cursor pointer so that I get this pointer when I hover over it. And then inside this div, I have a button that says click me. That's it. So I just gave it this margin top so that it's like in the middle. Right, so stop propagation. So we're going to see what stop propagation is with this very simple example. So let us say when I click this, we, so let, let, let's consider this use case. When I click this div, I need a modal to open. And I click when I click this button, I need another modal to open. So you, so what, what do we do for this? So um, I think I'm saying so, so many times. I'm going to have an on click on this div and uh, for now I'm just going to console log I'm just going to console log this text clicking div open uh, and let's just say we need to open a modal when we click this div I'm not going to write the opening modal logic I'm just going to console log opening div not all. And so when I click this div, we get the console log. I'm clicking the div, and if there is a logic on this on click that opens a modal, when I click this div, it opens the div modal. And let us do the same thing over here. So let us say I need to open another modal when I click this button. Let us let us call this uh, button modal. I'm going to console log the same thing, like the same way I did for the div. Clicking button opening button model. Right. So now let's see what happens. When I click the div, it says clicking div and opening div model. But when I open when I click this button, as we can see, these two functions that on click uh, that is written inside on click it's called it's opening the button model and it is also opening the div model. Let's see this again. So when I click the button, it consoles log it console logs the parents on click and also the buttons on click. This is not what we want. When I click this button, it should it should only console log this text. It should open the button model. Right. So this can be solved by two ways. One, we can use CSS. What we can do is we can take this button, put this outside the div, position it as obsolete, and just uh, position it inside the div. So it looks like the button is inside the div, but it's not. But there's a much more simpler way to solve it by using stop propagation. So uh, this problem can be solved by one simple function call. So uh, every on click gives this event. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to add e dot stop propagation to the most children part of the uh, component I guess so I don't want the event that is in the parent which is this event to propagate to this button so in that place where I don't want it to propagate I add e dot stop propagation e is just this event that comes from the on click so now, when I click this button, it only says opening button. It only console logs this function, this text. It does not console log the one that comes from the parent. So the event from the parent has stopped propagating to the children. So this is exactly what we want. And this is a best example of using stop propagation in your React projects. Uh, so let's do it, do it again. When I click the div, it console logs everything related to the div when I click the button it console logs the button it's exactly what we want so uh, that's it guys uh, I hope this uh, helped you uh, if it did please like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video thanks